When using Stripe Connect, there are three different types of charges you can create, direct, destination, and separate charges and transfer. If you're not sure which one to pick, check this other video. Here, we will focus on direct charges. With direct charges, the platform creates charges directly on the connected account. It means that it's the connected account who is responsible for the Stripe fees, refunds, and chargebacks. So we recommend direct charge when using Connect with accounts that do have access to the standard dashboard. We will cover how to create a direct charge with the API and then discover all the Stripe objects involved in this transaction. Okay, let's say we want to create a direct charge for $10 and give $1 back to the platform. So we call the payment intent endpoint with the secret key of the platform account and we pass the following parameters. Amount, 1000 cents. Currency, USD. Payment method. Here we could use the idea of a payment method stored on the connected account, but instead we will use this string to directly create a new payment method. Confirm true to automatically confirm the payment and application fee amount, 100 cents. Since we are creating a direct charge, we want the payment intent to be on the connected account. That's why we have to set the Stripe account header with the ID of the connected account. Now we press enter and as expected, we get back a payment intent object with a succeeded status. So it worked. However, this doesn't give us the full picture of what just happened. So let's take a step back and see all the Stripe objects that are created by this API call. To make things more visual, we split the screen into three sections. The left side contains the code we just wrote. The middle contains the Stripe objects that live on the platform account. The right side contains the object of the connected account. When we run our code, it creates a payment intent and a payment method on the connected account. The payment intent object is keeping track of someone's intent to pay a specific amount of money. It contains many properties, but on this diagram, we simplify things to only keep the most important ones, like amount, application fee amount, and so on. The payment intent also contains a reference to the underlying charge object, which has similar information and represents a single attempt to move money into a Stripe account. Every time funds move in or out of a Stripe account, a balance transaction object is created. This one shows the account got $10, but then had to pay the Stripe fee, here 59 cents, and the application fee, 100 cents. So in the end, the connected account netted $8.41. Notice that for direct charges, it's the connected account that pays the Stripe fees. For other payment flows, it's the platform that pays the fees. Now let's focus on the platform account. Since we set an application fee amount in our API call at the beginning, then there is an application fee object that represents the money movement from the connected account to the platform account. And because funds just moved into the platform account, we also get a balance transaction object. Here we see that the platform netted $1 and paid no fees. And that's it. These are all the objects involved in a direct charge. And if needed, we can use the API to retrieve any of these objects. To quickly summarize what we covered, we created a payment intent on the connected account with the Stripe account header. Most of the objects involved in this API call live on the connected account, like the payment method, payment intent, charge, and related balance transactions. The platform account has only two objects, an application fee and its associated balance transaction. The connected account directly receives the funds minus the Stripe fee minus the application fee. And the platform account receives the full application fee. If you want to learn more about direct charges, check the links in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.